Hello everyone, this is Lisa from God's Garden. It has been a little while since I made a soaping video and um, I thought it was about time. So, um, bear with me because I'm sure I forgot to put something out and I'm going to have to run and race and do that. And But uh, anyway, let's see how it goes. I've got my goggles, oh, goggles, my gloves, and I'm all set to go. Um, here's my oils, already melted. This is my lye water that um, is ready to go. I also have a shea butter that I'm going to add to this. Okay, my shea butter, butter has been gently melted. Every last drop counts. Okay. Um, this is a little bit larger of a batch that I'm, than I normally make, and I'm trying a new mold out, which I made. Um, and it's going to be a tall, thin one, and I know that Kim from Alamo Soaps uses a tall, thin mold, and I just like the way her soaps come out, so this is my makeshift um, mold. And it's just a box, you know, that I bought from Michael's or whatever. Yeah, Michael's. Um, and I kind of modified it a little bit, make it taller. And so, because of that, um, it's a little bit larger of a batch because it's taller. So, we'll see how it goes. Alright, so, are we ready? I'm going to pour my fragrance in. Never worked with this one before, so I hope, you know, I'm not sure if it's going to accelerate on me or not, but let's hope not. Mm, it smells wonderful. It's cucumber, wasabi, and uh, cilantro, I believe. And we're going to do a two-tone today. Um, I'm going to leave the um, part of it just plain, and the other part we're going to color. a green color.
bit of um, um, what is this? This is uh, what, I, what is this? I have a, a little bit of green mica. It's a little bit of. Um, let's see if I can get this in the camera. And to a little bit of um, glycerin, so it it mixes real nice, and you don't get the speckled um, pieces of colorant in your finished product. And I want this a little bit darker, so I'm going to add a little bit more. It's like the perfect wasabi color, so I probably should stop. Sorry if I'm going to keep going out of frame. That's a new setup, and I'm not quite sure what I'm doing yet. So let's uh, pour some of this in the bottom. And it doesn't help that I'm left-handed, and I keep wanting to put everything right in the view of the camera, but I can't help it. <laughs> mm, it smells wonderful. Next time I make soap, I'm going to have to try to put the camera on the other side for you so you don't see the bottom of my bowl. Let's see, does that help? And I'm kind of going for some straight lines. I, we'll see how it turns out. It may not be as straight layered as I want it, because um, the batter is still kind of thin.
don't know where you're at in the country, but I am out west, Colorado, for now. And it is absolutely beautiful here today. We've had some wildfires and stuff pretty close, actually. Um, but we've been spared, thankfully. Unfortunate for those that weren't. I think we're at the first or second day of summer. This is, I think, June, right? I know it's June, but I'm not sure what date it is. I think we're two days in the summer. And I have a soap program that I bought that you can put in, you know, all your supplies and you can, you know, I wouldn't have been able to do this um, with this mold. I'm, I'm impressed because I put in the mold size and width and height and all that sort of thing in this program that I have and it told me exactly, exactly how much soap, oils and butters I needed to make to fill this soap and I'll be darned, it's very, very, very accurate. So, we're at the top. And I am, this is too thin right now. Can you see the consistency of that? This is too thin to, to put on my top right now. Because I want to be able to make little peaks with it. So I'm going to turn you off, clean up a little bit, and as soon as that um, firms up a little bit, I'll be back to finish off the soap.